Okay, uh, today I want to talk about center of mass of the motorcycle. I've asked many people and majority had no clue where the center of mass of their bike was. Well, actually, some of them didn't even know what that was. So I, I, I wanted to uh, explain and show how to find it and uh, in the later uh, episodes. I'll be able to show how important it is to know center mass of the bike. Okay, uh, in this example, I'm going to use a 2006 Kawasaki ZX-10R. You're also going to need a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, two or one scale. Two is a lot easier, but you can do it with one scale. Uh, you're going to need a calculator and you need a, a right triangle angle and side ca calculator I got it marked uh, with the link right in the middle it's uh, it's 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 very useful uh, and easy, very easy to use okay uh, let's get it done first thing uh, go ahead and uh, measure the wheelbase uh, in my case, uh, my wheelbase was 59.37 inches. Uh, write that number down. Uh, then you have to put the uh, bike on the scales and find uh, exact weight on the front of the bike and on the back of the bike. Make sure the bike is uh, on the level ground. That way you get good numbers. Uh, in my case, uh, I had 300 pounds on the front of the bike and uh, 289 pounds on the, on the back of the bike. Uh, the combined weight is 589 pounds. You need to write down uh, the front, the rear, and the combined weight. Okay, uh, just by looking at, at those numbers, you can see that uh, that the front of the bike has more weight than the back. That means that the center mass is going to be closer to the front axle than the rear axle. But let's find out exactly where it's going to be. Okay, uh, so first we're going to take the uh, the weight that's on the rear wheel, which is uh, 289 pounds. Then we divide that by the total weight, which in my case is 589 pounds. And then we multiply it by the wheelbase, which is uh, 59.37 inches. And uh, using a basic calculator, uh, you should come up with uh, 29.13 inches. What that number means is that the center of mass of this bike is going to be 29.13 inches behind front axle. Okay, uh, for next step, uh, you'll need to raise the uh, the back of the bike. Um, I ended up raising my bike by 20.5 inches, marked as a red line and uh, the front wheel is marked with uh, FR uh, the rear wheel is marked with the uh, RR uh, the wheelbase didn't change it's still 59.37 inches but the black line we we still have to f find it so um, next thing is uh, we're gonna use a uh, online uh, calculator uh, to find the distance or how long the, the black line is because it's going to be uh, important for us okay uh, to find the black line we're going to use the online ca uh, calculator uh, the link is right in the middle of it uh, real easy to use uh, we're going to put 59.37 uh, where it says size C we're going to put 20.5 where it says side A, uh, click calculate and uh, it'll give you all the answers. Uh, 
it gives us uh, for site B is a uh, 55.72 inches and uh, it will actually give us the angle A as well which is uh, 20.2 degrees okay uh, let's measure the uh, new weight under a rear wheel since uh, we raised the rear wheel 20 and a half inches uh, the weight went down to 247 pounds uh, the total weight still 589 pounds so uh, let's do a new calculation uh, we'll take a uh, weight under a rear wheel just two 247 pounds divided by a total weight of 589 pounds and uh, multiplied by a new wheelbase of 55.72 inches uh, the answer is 23.37 inches okay uh, so what that means is that if we were going to use a jack to put to put it right uh, 23.37 inches uh, behind the front axle uh, where the pink and uh, black line meets uh, the bike would be uh, balanced okay next uh, we need to draw a line uh, at 90 degrees to the uh, black line uh, to make uh, it's going to be pointing towards uh, center mass of the uh, of the bike okay uh, it's time to use a calculator again uh, we need to find the purple line so we're going to put uh, angle A as uh, 20.2 degrees since we already knew that and uh, we'll put side B as uh, 23.37 inches since we already knew that as well uh, uh, click calculate and uh, it'll give you the answer for uh, side C is what we were uh, we were looking for which is uh, 24.9 inches it also gave us uh, uh, a side A which is the uh, yellow line but we really we're not going to use it okay so uh, we almost have uh, all the answers uh, to give us uh, center of mass uh, we've got uh, 29.13 inches uh, from behind the front axle is where uh, the center mass is. Uh, we've got the uh, the wheelbase of 59.37 inches. It's basically a purple line plus a green line together. Uh, we have the purple line which is uh, 24.9 inches and we have the angle of uh, 20.2 degrees okay uh, let's draw the lines uh, 90 degrees and uh, where they intercept is the uh, center of mass uh, the distance from the ground to the center of mass would be uh, a brown line small uh, brown line uh, the reason we need to find the purple line is to find uh, one of the sides of the uh, smallest triangle on the picture on the left uh, we uh, we take 29.13 inches which is uh, the distance between the uh, center mass of the bike and the front axle and we take 24.9 inches from that that's the length of the purple line and we find the smallest side which is uh, 4.23 inches okay so uh, now we know uh, the brown line and uh, from basic geometry uh, we know the angle of the uh, smallest triangle is uh, 20.2 degrees uh, so we've got two lines and an angle uh, we can find out uh, by using the calculator uh, the brown okay uh, so let's uh, put the numbers in the calculator uh, we know side A which is uh, 4.23 inches uh, let's see we know angle A which is uh, 20.2 degrees and I think that's all we know. Just click the uh, 
the calculator and uh, it'll give you side B which is 11.5 inches okay finally uh, we got the answer uh, the center mass of the bike is 29.13 inches behind the front axle and it's 11.5 inches above the ground uh, okay uh, in the next video or two uh, I'll try to explain uh, why is it so important to know uh, what your uh, center mass of your bike is uh, come back uh, in, a, in a week or two and uh, I should have another video ready thanks for watching